Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. In today's video, we're going to take this data set over here, whoop, companies, the departments, and revenue and cost across multiple years, and we're going to group it into a nice little table like this with a grand total as well with a profit column. We're going to be using a lot of advanced grouping, a lot of advanced features in Power Query. Let me show you how to do it. All right, so as always, you click your data set, you go to data, and you say from table or range to pull it into Power Query. There we go. This is Power Query. First step we want to do is we want to fill down the company. So I'm just going to add a new step. I'm going to say table fill down, and I want to fill down on the company, and that's it. There we go. Now what I want to do is I want to keep the company department, and all of these columns I kind of want to split into attributes and values. So I want to pivot around this. I'm going to say table unpivot other columns. I'm going to give this table as an input, and I'm going to say I want to unpivot around the company and around the department. And all the columns, the other columns should be either called attributes, which would be cost or revenue, and in the values should be simply the values in there. I'm just gonna close it out and say, all right, there we go, unpivoted. Now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna take the attributes column and I wanna convert everything that's a cost into total cost and everything that's a revenue into a total revenue. So I'm gonna add a new step here. Let's quickly just press F2 here. Let's rename this to unpivot, done. Let's add a new step. And I'm gonna say table transform columns. Yes, let me give it an input, this table. And I wanna say, I wanna transform the attribute column, and I want to say each of the items in the attribute column, I want to start with total, yes, and I want to say and, and I want to put a little condition in there. I'm going to say if text contains underscore for each item in there, if it contains the word REV, then it should be revenue, else it should be cost. And let's just end that over there and say, okay, you see, that's converted it to total revenue and total cost. Woo! And let's rename this F2 to rev cost. Okay, and now we're going to do all the fancy stuff like the grouping. So we're going to add a new step. Let's call this step F2 grouping. We're going to do all our transformations in here. Okay, so the first thing I want to do in this grouping is I want to remove this useless department. So I'm going to open the advanced editor because this one will go a little bit deeper. So right. What I'm going to say is, just hold it like that. Let's say remove column. So we're going to say table, remove columns. And in there, we're going to remove the department column. Cool. And that's it. And so, okay. Column gone. Now what I want to do is I want to make these attributes, the columns, and the values go into the columns, and the company is simply the rows. So I'm going to do a pivot, right? So I'm going to go back into advanced editor. And we're going to say pivot. And in here, I'm going to say table pivot. And we're going to take as an input to the pivot, we're going to take this table with the removed column. Yes. And you can see what it wants now. It wants a list of things that we will be calling the column. So this would be the attributes. It wants a list. But I want a unique list. So I'm going to say list distinct. Yes. And I want to give it the ref cost. And I want to take the attribute column to get a distinct list of columns. We basically total returns and total cost. Yes. And what is the attribute column as text? That would simply be attribute. That would be called attribute. And the value column will simply be called value, values. And the formula that we're going to use to do the aggregation would simply be list sum. Close it up. Say OK. There we go. So we basically created a pivot around the company with total revenue, total cost. Excellent. Now let's go back to the advanced editor. I want to now add a column for total profit, which is the revenue less the cost. So I'm just going to do that over there. We're going to say table add column. Cool. And I'm simply going to do it over this table over there. And I'm going to add the new column. The new column would be called total profit. And it would simply be each in square brackets total revenue less total cost and we close that out and that should do the trick there you go there's your total profit and now for the grouping we're going to do something really interesting we're actually going to group it by the company this data will actually be saved in a table for each grouping let me show you how to do that and go to advanced editor and now we're going to do grouping and in there we're going to say table group right we're going to group the rev cost table 
Yes, we're going to group it by the company column. But then I'm going to create a table. I'm going to show you now. This table is going to be called table TBL. And in there, I'm going to say each of these records in the table. Right. And I'm just going to remove the ref cost there, make it underscored. I was previously referring to ref cost and ref cost stepped over there. And we simply curly bracket that out, normal bracket and say, OK. So what I did now is it basically grouped it and each of these tables are now literally the grouping we did in the previous step. Pretty cool. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to display the table. So now it's a basically tables in a list. And now all I need to do is I need to now just say, let's go back to advanced editor to say combine tables. I'm going to say table combine. And we're simply going to combine the results of that. And this will give us exactly what we want to see. So now what we need to do is we need to add the grand total. So I'm going to show you a cool trick how to do that. Let's add a new step, convert this into a list. Each column would be a list, list one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to say table two columns that created a list. So each column became a list, right? What I want to do now is I want to do the sum, the total of each of these numbers in the lists, right? So let's say I want to do a transformation. So it's going to be list transform. And I'm going to say take the list of lists and put each item in there, underscore, and right, I'm going to say list sum, simply give me the sum of the underscore. You can see there's the total, but you see in the first row, it actually gives me error because that's not a number. It can't add it up. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to say, try to catch an error. So if this is an error, then do the sum. But if it's not an error, otherwise, just give me the grand total. Okay, there we go. So now that's the grand total. Boop, boop, boop. And now we just merely need to take this list of lists and convert it back into a table. So we're going to say table from columns. Cool. Go. And now it's converted it into a table with the grand total. And we just want the headers to be persisted. So what I'm going to do is the second argument for from columns would be, you can see the grouping already has it in. I just want to use that. So I'm just going to say, yeah, go to table from table column names from the grouping step. And close it out. And that simply did it for us. And that's basically that. We did a lot of fancy stuff in each of these. And most of the fancy transformation happened in this grouping step over there, which is pretty excellent. And then we just return it to Excel. And there you go. There's your solution. Beautifully wrapped up. Mind blown. Okay, so I hope this taught you some new ways of seeing how you can use functions. If you understand the minutiae of functions, how you can actually reverse en engineer any kind of solution you can dream of. That's it for me. BA Sensei, signing out.